the ancient Chinese weren't necessarily tuned into this themselves. It was secretive information mm -hmm. that you're teaching now that is now ready to be accepted by the Western world. Finally, the Western world is accept accepting acupuncture. Right. And finally, many people are being turned in, tuned in and turned on to these Tai Chi systems and the other Kung Fu systems. But people do tend to stereotype in their minds the idea of what the Kung Fu systems are for. Kung Fu, what does Kung Fu mean, Master Chair? The word exactly? Kung Fu mean, I mean, you put time into practice. You have a self-discipline. Uh, put your time commitment into the practice. Self-discipline. Yeah. That's all it means. Right. Kung Fu in, in Western mind, people think it means, ah, oh, Call the master of yourself. The master They're of yourself. Kung Fu. That means you have, a, you have to take time, patience, in order to practice so you can master yourself. Mm -hmm. Because if you cannot master yourself, you cannot master anything. If you don't know how to take care of yourself, you cannot take care of anything in the world. So in the, in the Tao system, we said, you are the most important thing. Nothing else in the world is more important than you. Because you are you. And nobody's going to take care of you if you are getting sick. Not a doctor, not the nurses, not your mother, not your father. If mm -hmm. you don't take care of your inside organs, who's going to take care of it? Well, you know, the uh, Judeo-Christian ethic has kind of made people afraid to be a, their own masters because they f have been teaching that it is selfish. Mm -hmm. Now, how do, we, how do we explain that it's not necessarily selfish yeah. to want to take care of yourself before anything else? Yeah, because if you're very sick and you are, don't have no energy, don't have the strength to do it, how can you help people? If you say you're going to love people, love the world, and you don't know how to love yourself, you don't know, experience the loving energy, and you cannot love the people. What we want to do is learn more yeah. and more about ourselves, but there's people out there who kind of think that it's very difficult for them to do this. They kind of um, have been told that meditation is mystical and uh, it takes extra time from their lives. Isn't there some practical thing we can just tell the yeah, people? Yeah, in fact, very practical thing. We try so practical. One thing that if you can just, uh, no need to be put your, your leg, cross leg, or double cross leg, or anything, or lotus, or half lotus. You can just sit comfortably on the chair, and ah. put your hand together, and close your eyes. And one thing you can do without go anywhere to learn, and you can do is the best thing is that, close your eyes and start to smile inside to yourself. Smile. Okay. Smile. You know that when the smile energy is, is a real energy. When somebody, when you walk on the street, somebody smile at you, you feel good. When you walk on the street, somebody stab you, get angry, you feel bad. And sometimes you, you sit in the car and your friend at the back look at you and smile at you. Suddenly you turn back. Why? Because there are uh, energy coming towards you and you feel a familiar energy. So you turn back, hey, where, how are you? So the energy is, a, the smile is a certain kind of energy. A lot of time, we have a lot of doctors come to study with the system, and they admit, they said, if, if he know that any patient don't want to live, even how good the medical, medical world is, that patient gonna die. So the first thing that I have to make him to live. So the first thing I have to find him, some friend, some relative, can keep him love, can keep him smile. And that, that patient is going to recover so fast. So we said, in fact, the hospital should not have the nurses to have a crowd inside there to make the patient smile. And it's going to re recover so fast without the just a lot. Step. The first step. And if you just keep on every day, five minutes, close your eyes and smile to yourself, you see in a one week you're going to change, change you entirely. And you, can, you, you don't get so stressed, you don't get so depression, so get so nervous, and it's the number one, the super stress pill in the world, is the smile to yourself.